today I'm a tree making my food. No, 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 no. I don't cook. I do a process called photosynthesis. Okay, now, that's better. Oh, wait. Do you know what photosynthesis is? No? Photosynthesis is a fascinating process that allows plants to create their own food using sunlight. It's like a magical kitchen inside every leaf where plants whip up tasty treats for themselves while generously providing us with oxygen to breathe. To understand photosynthesis, we need to know the key players involved. Sunlight. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for nearly all life on Earth. Plants are no exception. Chloroplasts. Inside plant cells, there are tiny structures called chloroplasts, which are like the kitchens where photosynthesis takes place. Chloroplasts contain a green pigment called chlorophyll that gives plants their characteristic colour. Carbon dioxide, or CO2. This is a gas present in the air around us. Plants absorb carbon dioxide through small pores called stomata on their leaves and stems. Water or H2O. Plants draw water from the soil through their roots, which travels all the way up to the leaves. When the sun is shining, plants capture sunlight using their leaves. The chlorophyll inside the chloroplasts absorbs sunlight and gets excited. Think of it like kids getting excited and energetic when they're playing outside. Now comes the real magic of photosynthesis. The excited chlorophyll in the chloroplasts takes carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. And it uses the energy from sunlight to convert it into glucose, which is a type of sugar. This process occurs in a series of complex chemical reactions. Glucose is like the main dish that plants make for themselves. It serves as a primary source of energy to grow, reproduce and perform all the activities essential for survival. Here's an incredible side effect of photosynthesis. As plants transform carbon dioxide and water into glucose, they release oxygen as a byproduct. This oxygen is the same gas we breathe to stay alive. So while our plants are busy making food for themselves, they're also being generous and providing the air with precious oxygen. Photosynthesis forms the foundation of life circle. Plants produce glucose and oxygen, which animals and humans depend on for their energy and survival. When we eat plant-based food, like fruit, vegetables and grains, we consume the glucose produced by photosynthesis. Our bodies break down the glucose through a process called cellular respiration, releasing the energy that allows us to move, think and do everything we do. In turn, we exhale carbon dioxide as a waste product. This carbon dioxide is then used by plants in photosynthesis to create more glucose and release more oxygen, completing the cycle. Photosynthesis is the reason we have lush green forests beautiful gardens and colourful flowers. Without photosynthesis, life on Earth as we know it would not be possible. Photosynthesis plays a crucial role in defeating climate change. Plants act as carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it as glucose in their tissues. This helps in reducing the levels of greenhouse gases which are responsible for trapping heat in the Earth's atmosphere and causing global warming. In conclusion, photosynthesis is a remarkable process that showcases the wonder of nature. Plants, using sunlight as their energy source, convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, while generously giving us sustaining oxygen in return. It's a beautiful, intricate dance of life that connects all living beings on our planet. So next time you see a tree swaying in the breeze or enjoying a fresh salad, take a moment to appreciate the magic of photosynthesis that makes all of this possible. I hope you liked this leafy adventure, but if you want more videos to help you learn, like, subscribe and hit that bell so hard it breaks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!